so we have our static list of names here, but what we want to do now is try to go through that data and display names this way. So grab all of this. First thing I'll delete, I'll delete this console log. I find convenient when I want to prepare data to be displayed in our render method to not do it directly into the return statement, but prepare the data inside of the render function before the return statement. That way a return statement re remains really clear and readable. I'll declare a constant data, which will grab this dot props dot data. And if you've been doing a bit of ES6, here's destructuring for you. You can put data in curly braces and remove that. And it's exactly the same. So this dot props dot data will be stored in data. Then I will declare a second constant called names list. And what I'll do with it is loop through the data array and do something with each name inside of that array. When you use React, and this is one of the greatest things about React, is there is no, so to speak, uh, syntax or, or technique to loop through some data. You actually have to use regular JavaScript. And this is good because it means that you can take this code and work somewhere else outside of React, it'll still work. It teaches you to get actually better with JavaScript. So the way in JavaScript we can grab each index of an array is with the array.map method. So I'll go data.map and for each iteration I want the name. Here's a fat arrow function, ES6 as well. So I want, the first thing I'll do is console log that name. So for each index of the data array, console log what I have in name. And you can see here, each name equals one object inside that. This is great because now I can access the name property and the sex property like this. Let's do console name that name and name that sex. And I should have a list of names and sex for each entry. Well, now instead of having that in the console, let's do something cool and we will actually return a chunk of JSX inside parentheses. So for each name inside the data array, I want to output a list item Let's close it before we forget. And inside curly braces, I want to pass name dot name. Now, nothing's going to happen because it just stores these li entries inside the names list variable. But now, if instead of my static list of items, I pass names list, which is that constant name, it should just like that display all my names. Here we go. Nice. Let's add a class name. Oops. Class name equals, and I'll do something pretty cool here. Because we want the class name of boy or girl, I will go name that sex, which is exactly that, boy or girl. And just like that, we should have pink and blue all over the place. Woo, nice, check it out. That's pretty cool. We have a warning, each child in an array or iterator should have a unique key prop. React requests a unique ID whenever you output a list of things. So what you do is you just pass a key and it needs to be unique. Luckily enough for us in our data object, you can see that each name object has a unique ID, so we can use that just fine. So I'll go name.id. Remember, name here stores one instance of that array, one index of that array for each time. So name.id will get ID. Just like that, I should be able to save and this warning should go away. Beautiful. All right, let's keep going in the next video.